Hi, I'm Celeste. I'm from Venezuela. I'm a graphic designer, and this is my Greenpoint apartment. Welcome to my 600 square feet apartment. Um, we're gonna start with the kitchen, which is my boyfriend's favorite part. I never step a foot in this space. I think what we love about this space is the cleanliness of it all, with the little accents of, you know, black and copper. And we try to incorporate also, of course, a little bit of color in our decor. These, this tray actually is from my boyfriend's mom. It's an heirloom and we absolutely love it. I think it's so versatile here. If we want to do like, you know, some hosting and use it as a tray or just like a standalone piece. Um, and of course we need flowers in the kitchen, but I am super allergic to pollen, so these are actually fake ones and they last all year, so it's perfect. Um, and of course, reading material, Naomi, the queen, we cannot forget about that. Now to the fun part, which is my favorite part, the living room area. And we try to divide it with this shelf unit, which we got off of um, Facebook Marketplace. And funny story, we took this one from like an 11 floor building, me and my boyfriend carrying this ginormous structure. Um, thank God it's in one piece and alive because I feel it's like the centerpiece of this space. Um, and it anchors the apartment, which is, you know, very important for small spaces. And then we can add like, you know, our little like trinkets, like our little pottery, which this one I made myself, candles, our little like decor objects, uh, my disco ball, which is a plus, like it, wherever I live, we have to have a disco ball because I love me a good dancing session. Um, and of course, it also reminds me a lot of my childhood, my mom growing up in Venezuela, like literally dance and um, having those like family gatherings where we can all like dance and eat food is the most important thing in our culture. Um, so here you have them, my mom and my dad. Um, they're go, they go everywhere with me in my heart and wherever I live in my decor aesthetic as well. And yes, again, like we bring curves and um, structural pieces wherever we can to make the space bigger and add more movement to the space. As a girl boss would say, this space is where we do most of our work. Now that we're working from home, it was very important for us to differentiate the space of like, you know, where we unwind and um, have, you know, our little glass of wine and watch TV from where we go on Zoom calls and answer to emails, you know? So this space was, it's meant for that. Um, we have a really nice Zoom background, which was something that I thought of when creating this space because I didn't want to like also, um, for people on Zoom calls to see my whole apartment, I wanted to see, for them to see like my personality. So I think this is a great, you know, space for that because you can tell a lot of our personality from just looking at this decor piece. And now we go and step in the music area of our apartment. Um, this is my boyfriend's favorite place and the most important place for him is his vinyl collection. His father actually passed along so many of these records for him and we play so many vinyls on our like on a daily basis just because we love to listen to old music to like better understand music nowadays and also just to like educate ourselves but my favorite part of this is the vinyl um, wall because we get to switch it up and add some more personality to the space because we can like color scheme it and make it like all yellow um, covers or like all blue depending on the season and depending how we're feeling. 
we can mix and match and add to the extended gallery wall. This is the living room, and as you can see, it's very vibrant. It's very colorful, just like me. And I wanted to incorporate as much color and shapes and textures as I could because that's what I saw growing up and I, that's what I wanna show my partner and my friends. And yes, as you can see, there's a lot of curves, a lot of straight lines, which um, add a lot to the space. In the gallery wall, for example, you see a lot of that with the contrast of the colorful um, sofa and the colorful futon, which we prefer to have solid so it doesn't clash with the movement of the gallery wall. So yes, I feel like this is a very good balance that has a lot of Matisse inspired work and some of my paintings as well, which I feel like get a lot of inspiration from Matisse, Picasso. And then of course we have our very own Mac Miller print, our favorite musician. That's how I bonded with my boyfriend, who I actually, funny story, met during quarantine. And then we try to incorporate as well, like, you know, mirrors, which make the space bigger, feel bigger. But of course, the mirror had to have personality, have those curves that we love and add so much movement. Um, this one is actually from an Israeli artist called Galsifly. And she has such a variety of unique mirrors that add so much personality to the space. We have our babies, um, which are super well behaved. They just need water like three times a week. Um, my favorite planter, I would say, is um, this one because, of course, disco ball again. And it is made by a small business, um, also called Blue Hour, which I adore. They all have names. You don't want to hear them because our favorite one, our favorite baby, is Carlos. He is the like spotlight here. Um, it's a Mastera plant and we got it when it was like one baby leaf. Now look at him, he's like a full on adult. Um, we're trying to see what we're gonna do with him because he's been taking so much space, but I think we love that because it adds so much to this corner and um, without being too intrusive. But yes, this is our favorite child. I'm not gonna say it out loud. Mm -hmm. And then over here where like um, the TV is, we didn't wanna make it too heavy, but also of course bring our personality and the color to it. This little lamp is actually 3D printed and it's made out of sustainable materials from a place called Honey and Ivy on Etsy. And this little like objects and details that we added here are actually made by hand by me. And that um, I love just doing little decor items like this because they bring so much to the space. And also it, it makes me proud. And then here, it, this is actually like one of my favorite corners because it resembles so much of the things that I love. As again, those like shapes and different types of material. Um, this print, which is made by one of my favorite illustrators called Vittora and she has incredible work which I think goes very well with the shapes in here that we like try to incorporate for example like in the vase and the candles as well as the textures in the crate the milk crates I feel it's like super important when you're having like those little details like that to have interesting shapes within before we move on from my actual like favorite area, we're gonna visit our little balcony. So what we tried to do was contrasting the black with color. And of course, tying it up, um, the color of the chairs with this little ashtray and the view. This was so important for us and we get to spy on our neighbors. Okay, for our next part of the tour is where not the magic, the sleeping happens because as a Pisces, I'm constantly sleeping or daydreaming. But um, yes, this is it. Yes, this is our bedroom. It's a small space, but it just like gets the work done, you know? We try to make it a little bit more open with the accent 
wall painting that we both made. I was so impressed with my boyfriend's work. I was like, okay, maybe you're gonna be the painter of the family. <laughs> but yes, we try to incorporate that color and bring that brightness into the this room because it felt very white as you can tell we have some furniture pieces that are wood but we wanted to bring that color and that pop that we have around the apartment and here for example you see one of my paintings and of course some fake plants or other plants that will get jealous so yes you'll see that around the house where we add those little green moments little dresser that is a monstrosity and super heavy um, we both me and my boyfriend brought it from um, Bushwick and it's from Facebook marketplace and it looks great um, we added some little details in our corner over there again a 3d printed lamp from one of my favorite artists called honey and ivy and like some of my prints to add more color and dimension to the space and now we move into the bathroom this was such a renting point for us because a lot of bathrooms in new york look exactly the same and this one had so much personality um it's one of my favorite bathrooms i've ever seen i will say not that i've seen too many but it felt like a hotel and very zen because of the contrast with you know the wood and the like cement which adds a lot again of personality and dimension to the space it feels like kind of spa-ish it has great great lighting so when you're putting your makeup on you don't look like a clown when you step outside so that's another bonus for me and that's it thank you for watching my apartment tour Make sure to catch me on my social media, which is sele.jpeg on Instagram and hayceleste.com on TikTok. And now I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of the day with this view and sip my coffee. <laughs> Cheers.